Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is August 31st, 2021. It's the last day of August here. It's a Tuesday night, and it's time for a great night. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show green room navigator. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Uh, we've got a great show for you coming up today. We've got a great game, which I think I will be... I have, to, I, have to, I have to make some adjustments while they guys are doing the green room. Uh, you probably saw maybe in the Twitch headline, we've got uh, one Owen uh, JJ Stone. Mr. O Doctor is joining us. Uh, we're gonna have some more music from Jomo. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a great night. That's right. All right, it's gonna be a great night. All right, well, let's uh, take you into the green room. We're gonna take you into the green room now. Uh, green room, can you hear me? Well, hello, everyone. Hello. Mm. Hello, green room. Hello. The, the, hello. Just not green room. Sriracha Ground thing? control. Of course, I remember the sriracha that, thing. That's probably the worst thing I've ever seen. I in noticed my life the many sriracha times. bukkake. Yes. That was, sorry, sorry. That was the last I, time you were here he's, in he's Austin. Out. Or were you were you here live, or did you watch that on? No, I was here live for that. Then that was that was the that last was time you were here. Time. Yeah. Okay. Wait. But I heard the word bukkake. Yeah. He was here for the sriracha bukkake. Oh. So was, that had to be the last time he yeah, was here. That would have been 2014. Was that at least sriracha mayo? No. 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 Straight sriracha. It was so yeah. bad. In the eye. Yeah. It was so bad because. <sighs> and the 2015 face. maybe. Yeah. I, the, the, he really does die in a fire. Like when he goes full bore, he's like, "Yeah, give it to me, do it." And halfway through, I started feeling like, "No, no, <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it's not even happening to me." And I'm still like, "No, yeah. no, no." <laughs> that was a good show, man. It was, it was a good show. <laughs> was a Didn't show. you throw up? Uh, that was the following year. The, the, the fo- it was it wasn't the sriracha. I feel like I, you, I, I have a memory of you. You yarts because yeah. of the sriracha. Yeah. Yes. Oh wait, no, that's right. It you was. threw up that, because that, of the sriracha. Uh, because I was already kind of wound tight in the belly with nervousness for the yes. live show, and it turns out getting a sriracha facial yeah. is I'm, just enough water to make the the cup overflow. <laughs> and, 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 and and by the way, when we say facial, we mean Pornhub, yeah. not spa treatment. Yeah. Like, right. Like, correct. This was, was like, not artfully applied with was, cucumber slices. It was it was literally dying in a fire adjacent. Like yeah. it was like as much as you could die in a fire. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that was a moment. Uh, and by, by the way, pay me like one of your French women in the audience. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yes. By the way, Owen <laughs> Owen is actually laying out. If you want to sit down, Jomo can actually be in frame. I mean, uh, if you, I, I offered the spoon. That's all I can do. <laughs> jo- this is actually, Jomo is cowering in the corner I, I, right now on I, the floor. I mean, I mean, I mean, he can sit up too in the L shape. I mean, I'm just, but I've. I, I, I prefer I to just be a, a hand that comes in and gets the microphone, and then I'm otherwise off frame. There we go. Okay, yeah. That's, <laughs> although, uh, although considering how we started this conversation, I, I don't blame, I don't you, blame for you for not wanting yeah. your He's face like, on you know, camera. Like, I'm like, stay over here. You start throwing around bukkakis. I'm good with the yeah. Yeah. corner. I'm no good. one likes uh, throwing Owen JJ Stone, aka O Doctor, aka Black Gritty. Uh, how are you doing? Aka man? the the racial liaison of NSFW AKA and Yeah, the, the, the racial yeah. liaison. All I have is AKAs. I'd like to ask the general question everyone asks. Yeah. Because you guys are so on point. Why is this room green? Because green rooms aren't green. I was about to I say I know that they're not green, but in this world with two weirdos, wouldn't it be cooler if the room was actually green? Nah. It's not supposed Owen, to be green. Nah. Allow me green. Allow me to hold up a mirror to your question. The question you just asked is why we don't do the entire show. With a green screen behind us. Yes. It. Yeah. I want it. Knowing our yeah. audience. Yeah. yeah. The, and, and, and audience, you should push for this. No. no I believe no, no, in right. you. What are you doing? I'm, I'm what are you asking, doing? I'm, no. No, I'm just asking the question of if anyone was actually going to have a real green room, mm. it should be you Owen, guys. Owen, I'm going to tell you this. This is why I don't get it. Not only places. will this room never be green, Mm-mm. not even if our Patreon hit $3,000 <laughs> an episode. <laughs> but 3000 an episode. But at 3001 yeah. 3, we'd be forced to relent. Hey, yep. look, no, we and, would have and, to pay. And everything green. And now, yes. And now it's on record. I'm so, just yeah. saying. I'm saying. I, I honestly, think that you we... son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. Won't, won't you feel like a top <laughs> asshole when look, we don't look, hit three thousand dollars on hey, Patreon? Hey, hey, ha ha ha! We'll six, laugh, six, Brian and I. Six, six, yeah. Save this clip for when the room's green. Go just say. Put me in the background, nope. right over their heads. Just I swear to God. Right here, just rub what? 
Uh, Why, that would take everybody in this audience right now (laughs) telling two friends and then by the rule of attrition, about 30% of them filtering into the Patreon. But only if that happens. Not possible. It'll (laughs) never, but it'll never happen. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just asking the questions. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Owen, <laughs> how 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 was uh, uh, how long had it been since you had hopped on a plane and gone anywhere? And what was it like to to travel cross country? Do you want you want the truth about hopping on a plane? Yes. Yeah. Mainly, I want to know what ghost you believe lives over your shoulder. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm just saying when I, when you ask me questions, I'm about to lie. I got to look on my shoulder to make sure nobody's okay, spying that on That ghost me. is so, there. I mean, the, the, the ghost is real. So. The real answer is, the last time I got on a plane previously was uh, February. Okay. And uh, it was much more scarier then than it was recently. Yeah. Um, were, they, it, were they still allowing booze on flights back then? Yes. <laughs> They're allowing booze on flights. Nope. <laughs> no. They did oh, coming yeah. back from L.A. Uh, uh, what 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 airline? Alaskan. Alaska is like the, oh. well, one of the only oh. ones that are doing it. I flew they, 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 did, they do on Alaska because yep. when I got off the plane today, the, the uh, stewardess was like, the guy up front was a lush. He was the only one asking for drinks. He was just taking them down. I was like, okay. Because when you said that, I was like, yeah, only Alaska. Alaska. No, Southwest doesn't. United yeah, doesn't. United yeah. doesn't. Well, and also, they all acted like I was the asshole for asking for the same drink I always get on every flight. Ginger problem, ale. Problem is... <laughs> That uh, those folks, the people in the flight industry, oh, had it. they're in a they're in a war right now. They're done. That, that yeah. is like, they're so over that, that is shit. like you yeah. tapping the shoulder of the last person out of Afghanistan and being like, "Hey, scotch and soda? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a scotch and soda?" Like that is the the amount of patience that they have for anything right <laughs> but, now. But like the annoyed sigh of exasperation, there it's like where it's just like, yes, all airlines have stopped because everyone kept. Fist fighting. Yes. <laughs> like, we apparently run an underground fight club at 30,000 feet. I'm sorry. It is <laughs> funny how planes have become just the internet. Like, yeah, there's there, there's, the, there's the guy who wants to reenact the Breitbart comment section. Yes. There's, like, the teenager doing the TikTok dance in the sure, aisle that's, sure. like, blocking everybody from leaving. That, it, is, it is a circus. That flight guy got club. taped to his chair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That guy that got taped to his Ooh. chair. I'm like, man alive. I couldn't imagine being that insane in the air. Like, where are you going to go? What are you doing? But he was hopped up on power and juice. Do you know who my father is? Oh, God. Once somebody starts saying, do you know who my father is? I'm like, well, your father's the one with money because you're still flying coach. Because I'll, t- I'll, I'll tell you what. Yes. I, I, I don't <laughs> think this is much of an exaggeration, but it's like I get I get, I get my, my bag of pretzels, and I, I, I unloop one ear, and I have a pretzel, and I have a pretzel, and I have a pretzel, and I hold a pretzel, and I have a thought for a moment. And then I hear, <clears throat> and I look over, and they're like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Was I not in the moment of eating a pretzel yeah. in that moment? Okay, all right. It's, but again, they're, they're, they're just, they're trying to weed you out. That's like, 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 like they are the, the, like in a prison, they're trying to find the people that are they're like guards at a prison. They're trying to find the people Who's that are the troublemaker. Exactly, and so yeah. they're like, like the fact that you put your mask back on. Yep, you could probably then take it off and eat your pretzels in peace. Yeah, because you showed obedience when they asked, and I mean, you and you didn't th- say, and you didn't pull out your fife and say like, in 1776, yeah. some of the founding fathers <laughs> gave us the inalienable rights that. Ba- 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 and, and, and also, technically, it's his fault because he's a Texan. So coming from Texas, they can't be trusted. Now, I done flown coast to coast, Key West to Key Largo. I get to Texas. Key West and, and Key Largo are both in the Keys. Y- don't worry about what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> as I was so saying. It was before, a really short as, trip. As, as, <laughs> as, like, as, as I've as been a wrong place. Is that, is, 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 is that out of an airport or a cannon? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as I was saying. Coast to coast, Key West to Key Largo. As Wiley I'm Coyote doing the flap the of that man's suit. He's <laughs> like, I travel. <laughs> oh, you got to roast in this. Stay in the barrel, Owen. Stay in the barrel. It's all 
also by Acme. So, so, <laughs> so someone actually is fact checking on the show. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I've been you fucked up, Trent. No, you no, fucked no. up trying to make the I, keys no, joke no, with a no, Floridian. No, no. I've, I've literally been saying. I've bought a car in Key Largo. I've, I've, I've literally been saying Coast Coast Key West to Key Largo for like 20 years, and every time somebody catches me, I'm like you're a smart, you're a smart person. Because most people will never understand. Oh, there you go. I'm when I well say it's my banter, just to say any hoozy going on the <laughs> plane everywhere <laughs> else. <laughs> Everywhere else, it is the Gestapo out there. Like, they're hey, on you hey, checking hey, your hey, papers. Hold on, re- re- real quick. Can I request that that every president going forward has to deliver the State of the Union address in that exact level of repose? Because it's like, you could tell me that, by the way, we're all communists now. I've decided it. I'll be like, I don't know. You seem cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. You think, you think Biden should have given his speech today? Yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, 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 on the Shays Lounge? Hey, he's like, what, hey. what are we going to do? A forever he, he's, war? He, he's taking naps. I'm taking the microphone. Who's going to stop? I'm me? going I'm to Key Largo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Key West first, yeah. of course. Coast to coast, Key West to Key Largo. Coast to coast, sing, Key West to Key Largo. I sing it also. Eddie Hoosey, <laughs> as I was saying, you dang go dirty Varmint Texan. <laughs> Everywhere else I go, I'm masked up. I get in here to Texas, and this Pistol Pete Wild West out here. Grown folk walk through the airport out of Asco. And while the mandate spawns over you on repeat loop, people in Texas are just like, I don't care about no dang on mandate. My mask is down. It's what I do. So uh, like, wow. They're all I, boom I, hour. Is I, that I, what I you're saying? That, they're yeah. all boom hour. I know that, ma- uh, that memories are funny, and they can be condensed and molded over time. But I swear, my memories of Justin visiting Texas go in this order. Uh, uh, he comes to visit for I forget what, and he's like, holy shit, it's really weird to be driving around and there's all these full parking lots and everyone's just going to bars and everything's full or whatever. And in my mind, the memory is five minutes later, I'm moving to Austin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in town to look at houses. Yeah. So, like, uh, uh, but but yes, they, they, you're not wrong. <laughs> like, like if if we were selectively editing the story, it would be absolutely true. No, but that was me coming from the Bay, which like locked down before anybody and stayed as locked down yeah. as anybody for longer. Uh, and then I, I was rolling out from the airport, and I just say uh, off uh, 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 71. The, the pint house brewery that you see, and it was like just prrr, like it was Disneyland, yeah. Like at like eight o'clock at night, as I was rolling back, and I'm like, now that's a sight I have not seen in, in a quite very a while. long time, and it looks like a big building, but I don't know if it's that big of a building. He's, he's talking to Callie, he's like, oh, I haven't seen that since oh, before you were born, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it felt like it certainly, yeah, no, there was uh. I feel like I'm still recovering from the the the, the PTSD of the like full lockdown. Oh, like you yeah. guys, you guys, uh, as much as anybody wants to be careful in Austin, I think you had the option to also like every once in a while do a thing or yeah. have things stay open. Uh, that was not the case in Oakland. That no. was that was it was it was locked the fuck down. Yeah, it was same, Jersey same way. I didn't have anything to do. There's nothing to yeah. do. Yeah, Philly was shut down. New York was shut down. I mean, you wanted to go do something, you had to scoot down to West Virginia, Virginia. That's when, that's when the world started opening it back up again. I mean, you take so everybody down, was, was hang, yeah, hanging out in Morgantown? Yeah, yeah. You take a ride down 9 to 5, you want to live life, brother. <laughs> go on down that road. Get the You're game. at, oh, what, what's what's the big casino down there? Um, I always used to hear it advertised during Penn's South games. of the border. Not south of the border. <laughs> Although, what a bad shit. That shit must have been lit south of the border. I'll bet. Have I went to a, I went to a water park in West Virginia called JD's Family Fun Center in West Virginia. Yeah. And it rented out the whole thing, COVID times. And I was like, this is exciting. I was with my wife's family. And I was like, first of all, JD's water park in West Virginia sounds great and racist. I don't know. <laughs> but also, also... <laughs> <laughs> well, it showed up there and it was rented out, rented out by like thirty families. It was just full. It was just packed. <laughs> Everybody paid to rent it out. It was a scam uh, by JD's racist on, water park. Uh, really? Oh, wait, hold, all right, hold on, hold, hold on, on, hold on. Hold on. Before, uh, before, one, before, before we go any, <laughs> before we go any further, in the chat right now, JD's family. Actually, no, don't say it out loud. Oh. I don't. Uh, no, 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 no. All, all I want to know is whether or not they think it sounds racist. Yes oh, or no? Okay. Yeah. Does JD's Water Park of West Virginia sound racist? Yes or no? I just want to see it in the chat. The yeses and the noes. Boy, boy, it does. It does. Don't go it looking does it up. Change. Comment on 
the, do not the, comment on their Yelp. The the words West Virginia do alter things. Like uh, yeah. uh, 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 the Center for Genetic Excellence of West Virginia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Suddenly, James say, uh, mm. oh, I, I'm turn. going to say <laughs> that uh, 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 direction modifiers uh, do often make things appear more heightened, said the graduate of South Plantation High School. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because there's only there one go. way that Plantation High School gets worse, <laughs> and it's South Plantation <laughs> High School. <laughs> like, it couldn't be East, it couldn't be West, for okay, real. Okay, so question. Proud graduate. Uh, uh, I'm let, actually going to okay, my 20-year anniversary let, let's next say, week. Let's say there's a $10,000 purse, okay? Uh, and, and we all we all commit, uh, uh, it, there's $10,000, and it gets awarded to whoever can, without slipping up once, Every time they ever hear a directional uh, modifier say, oh, East Austin, <laughs> like, 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 just always emphasize it. Could you go an entire year? Would it be worth the $10,000? To every time somebody says any kind of any direction. directionally modifier, correct, just correct. go, so, like, oh, oh, I'm from South Carolina. Oh, oh South, South Carolina. Carolina. <laughs> Should it always be with a little bit of oh, concern? Oh, always, always. I mean, that, that's always. the rule. That's, oh, that's oh, 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 South oh, Carolina. West Virginia. Oh, wait. Mm. So, so you, can't, you, you, can't, you can't mix wow. in an excited, like, oh, South Carolina. Uh, no. It's, no. It's, it's, it's always, always got to be judgy. It's always got to be just a little bit judgy. Like, like oh, the fourth doctor. Mm. <laughs> that's not a direction. Northwest uh, Pasadena. But, but you, oh. yeah, yeah, you're picking up the fourth doctor from Key West to Key West. Has anyone ever been? <laughs> What's the fourth doctor like Mo Howard? <laughs> yes. No. I think it was Mo Green. <laughs> no, fourth doctor was was uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the best one. Dr. Uh, Fine. It, no, yeah. the, yeah, that's the eighth doctor. Tom Baker is the best Why one. I thought Tom Baker gotta, was the fourth it's doctor. It's bigger no, on the no, inside, no, no, no. you knucklehead. I Bing. know nothing. I know nothing. Yeah, people are saying. So have you ever been to South of the Border? I have oh, driven dude. by it dozens it's, of times. So, but I've so never have you been there? Been there? No. Uh, right. Yes. Uh, I, I mean, I have seen it in the maximal glory, which is uh, uh, number one, uh, following 55 billboards leading up yes. to it. Which is mandatory. Later yes. and later into the night until finally it's two in the goddamn morning and you take that left turn and you're like, who the fuck scooped out a chunk of Vegas and uh, a racist uh, uh, Vegas nice. and made it a Mexican restaurant right here? I, I, I was blown away. So, so do you you went there? You went inside? No. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what happens when you go inside. What so happens? My, my they, 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 they start handing you fireworks. <laughs> My father lives in North Carolina, Fayetteville, which is like, oh, oh North, North Carolina. Carolina. Sure. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I exactly. can get into it, this. It, it works. It works. <laughs> and which is basically 10 minutes from south of the border. Oh, yeah. South of the border. Oh, south, south of the border. border. Yeah, sure. So at one point, me and my girlfriend are like, we we've driven down off. here 10 times. Let's go see this, this place. Yeah. So we go to rent the room. I called and I'm like, yeah, we got rooms. I go to rent the room. The guy's like, oh, you want the champagne room? No, we're both 19. I'm thinking, you're, 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 not, you're gonna give us champagne? Y'all got titties? Sure. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> we we rent the champagne room. There's champagne the, room had a there's jacuzzi. Never, there's the never ju sex in the champagne room. The, the, there's no sex in the champagne room either. Yeah. The, the room <laughs> had like an igloo now, dome on the top the with mildew south. and mold on oh it. Oh my god. You couldn't god. Even see out of the top of it. The hot tub looked so gross that we thought we were going to get a tetanus shot and we had to get in it. So we're like, we'll just drink the champagne. So we drink the champagne and then we walk over to the little restaurant that they have and it's like a horror movie. There's one old woman in an old dingy uniform, like a diner uniform. There's one weird guy drinking coffee and there's one guy making burgers in the back. We almost and and, and there's the and there's like like home. one one we, doo wop song yes. being played at three fourths speed <laughs> like <laughs> we we were so scared we started driving home we started throwing up from the champagne it was the most terrifying hour and a half I've ever spent in the place <laughs> wait, ever wait, in wait, my wait. life Ser so. ser seriously did you buy some fireworks no we didn't yeah. have time. We were trying to make love in the jacuzzi with the champagne, and we found out the jacuzzi's got mold in it. Yeah. <laughs> the champagne was poison. They were, were trying to kill us. We, I'm telling you. We were trying to make love in the room, and she said her shift that's was right, on in five that's minutes. Right. Look, I'm <laughs> and what I like to freshen up my uh, coffee. It, it was one of the scariest places on earth. You know, happiest place on earth. That it was, it was a weird place, especially when you drive by it a million times, thinking, 
people have to go there. They've got they've all these got, signs. Like they and monopolize the billboards and their logo on either side. And their yeah, logo on is either side. Their yeah. logo is a huge ape with like black face chipping off his face, and he's just ah happy, excited. Like it's a scary place. Don't ever go. Yeah, there. No, I, know, I thought it was it a sombrero. When oh, is it oh, sombrero? It's brown. That's, so it's that's brown on, face. That's on, yeah. That's is it on brown the face. So you get there, and the monkey's got a hat on his head. Oh dear. The monkey is the is oh, the yeah. the logo. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, boy. Huh. Yeah. Like I said, scary place. We lasted an hour and a half. Is this directed yeah. by Jordan Peele? <laughs> Dude, yes. I swear it was like a movie. When we walked into the little diner thing. I'm like, we have to leave. She's like, it's okay. I'm like, no, this is how every horror movie starts. Yeah. This yeah. is literally a horror movie. Get she's out. Right. She's she too bad to we, can't I'm like, we can't stay. I can't stay. My blackness won't allow me to stay here no. and eat this food. In the movie of our story, I'm yelling at the <laughs> yeah. screen. Yeah. Like, yeah. leave. Yeah, because I'm the first one to die. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow she makes it out, but I died exactly. First. No, we got out. It was it was crazy times, crazy times. Uh, uh, so Google so south of the border. If exactly. You, if you have no idea what we're south about of the border. Oh. South of the oh. border. Yeah. And and my, the other favorite part is uh, when you go down past there a little bit. There's also a strip club. I suggest you never go there either. Oh, did we, did you stop? Souther of the border. Souther of the border. <laughs> More south, south of the of border. The border in South Carolina. <laughs> south you'll start of seeing sign, after south out the south of the border. You'll start seeing signs for the strip club. Okay. I went there one time. It was it was not okay. Okay. How do you advertise like a uh, 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 gentleman's uh, club? Well, no, I mean it, <laughs> it's a gentleman's club. Because you want to find out what the Gentleman's Club is about. I mean, you are in Texas. We know how to advertise the, the, the like titty bars. The, the gentleman, no, they don't call it titty bars. It's a well, of club. course. Nobody calls it. Nobody. There's no place on earth where you roll in and you see a gigantic billboard that says titty bar next left. In Florida? I, I come on. That. Trust me. Even in Florida. <laughs> even in Florida. All right. Hold on. Now, all of a sudden, I want to see like a billboard war where it's like you pass south of the border and it's just south like now, now, now you see signs that just say good Clean, disease-free titties. <laughs> well, but but they're all in quotation marks. Good, clean, <laughs> with, an, with an asterisk. Yes. No one in there had more Beautiful than fourteen women, and no one in there weighed more women. than hundred pounds. Oh, <laughs> it was uh, it was woof. scary. The bones were shaking up in that place. <laughs> Woof. Well, I couldn't even get a fat girl in there. Was, everybody was just like malnourished and toothless. It was, like, it was just like like six Santa's little helpers. Uh, <laughs> all I know is anything on a billboard now is a horror movie to me, and I don't trust it. Advertising on billboards. Man, you, uh, have, you ever, have you ever driven uh, I-10 all the way out to the West Coast? Do you see all the billboards for The Thing? No. Mm. Mm. What is mm. The Thing? Mm. The Thing. What is yeah. The Thing? The thing. Well, you have to go further than Key West, oh. you know, the other coast. What is the, hey, see, look, uh, that's, I'm going to tell everybody in here. Literally, all the billboards say is, what is the thing? But, but, but what is the thing? Uh, you know what's funny is... Scientology. We, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we stopped there, and I guess we got distracted or walked right by it. I still don't know. Still don't know what the <laughs> thing is. You're killing me, Small. Here's yeah. the thing. You're supposed no, to no. find out what the thing is. Here's I mean, I'm West sure you can Google thing. it. Right. Yeah, my exactly. See, that's how they advertise it. I think it's like a pickled something or other. All right, here we go. The thing is a roadside attraction. Well, yes. Uh, it's uh, supposedly really a mummified mother and child believed to have been made by exhibit creator Homer Tate. Or the side Or is it Thangs? That's a different. Thangs. <laughs> Man, I do need Is it glasses. the thing or is it the thang? Yeah, if it was Thangs, it would definitely be titties. <laughs> hey, see them things. You want to see them things? What the yeah. You ever see a mummified titty? What happened? Oh, you I were, seen them things. Hey, you, were, you were talking bangs. about you were talking about what you're gonna do when your daughter gets out of high school. Hey, I feel like I feel like hey, this hey. is this is a good business plan. Hey, you start hey. out right hey. after the thing. You start them things. Like I said, hey, <laughs> them pay me like one. If you like the thing, imagine two. You'll love them things. Hey, girl, come get these things. I'm hanging them poppy. I'm jiggling with my face. But it'll have to be west of the things. Oh, west. <laughs> west. 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 west of them things. West, west yeah. things. Oh, New Mexico. Oh, sh- man. I'm about, New hey, Mexico. Hey, I'm, I'm about to start a franchise. Coast Coast, West of Largo. West things, <laughs> east things, no things, south things. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know. I, 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 uh, after talking about shriveled up titties and a sideshow, a, a yeah. oh, you mean things? I, I, it's it's hard to follow that act. Um, you follow it with milk. 
Do we want to talk about your trip? Uh, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> not my, like, I, I ain't got no shriveled titties. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have big, robust titties? I mean, like, what are your nip situations? I've seen you yeah. with your shirt off in a while. What is what's, what is the sitch? No, uh, uh, what's the nip sitch? <laughs> hey, sh- hey, hey, hey! Show me them thangs. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, I guess, take your shirt I guess off. I, I, I mean, the, the only the only long form story I have is uh, I did my first stage magic show in two years, which is bonkers. Yeah, man. La- last year they canceled because of COVID, and this year uh, there were supposed to be three of us each doing like 30 minutes, and then uh, 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 Nate unfortunately couldn't make it. So it was me and Dan Martin uh, at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, and um, it's it's a bit weird because like there have been audiences who know who I am, like our you know when people at Dragon Con, sure. ain't, ain't nobody get in a line for NSFW and doesn't know what they're in for. Right? Exactly, yeah. Uh, um, no, they are they were our people. Right, correct. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the mixed audience, like having twenty percent, like the gap is only getting wider, where it's like twenty percent uh, or eighty percent of the people, like usual, have no idea who I am. But the twenty percent who do know who I am are positively giddy about it like like and and that changes things so it's like uh like i got a volunteer when, when, on stage. When, when did this start uh, 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 uh at, at that gig because we were talking about a fairly uh uh, uh fair to say that an aeronautical college is, is uh, uh, uh for smart kids yeah 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 what, what what we might say in a bygone era nerds uh yeah, or people who want to make a lot of money uh uh flying coast to coast from Key Largo to Key West, Key West. or whatever. Nerds. <laughs> okay, sure. So uh uh but but yeah, so like and these are people that are in the demo for YouTube. You make a lot of great YouTube content and so like that's where they know you from. Yeah, but, yeah. But but here's the weird part that I'm having to learn how to how to navigate is like uh, uh, there's a lot of asking for volunteers to come up on stage, and in this case, we're doing nail in the eye. A g- guy comes up and he's like, you know, uh, uh, there's only one thing I care about: somebody who's a chatterbox and super excited and over the top, because that routine lives and dies based on the enthusiasm of the person who comes up on stage. This person's very enthusiastic, uh, uh, great, uh, and 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 dude, uh, uh, hand him a mic. Won't stop talking about like, oh my god, I'm so excited! I I, I got to learn how to uh, my first magic trick. I watched you when I was in eighth grade. Pregnant pause, and I, and and it's like the calculus of like most of these people have no idea who I am. A few of them know who I am. This guy Wait, is all that, fucking thrilled. Can we can we pause yes. and just like let's just like writers room here. Like, how does Brian respond to that right there? Okay. Before because I tell you the disappointing b- answer. Before I before before before, before we hear, I let you down. Before we hear no no no. I think I think it's before the, I end up south of the border. <laughs> uh because uh uh I think there is a possibility of you just leaving. Leaving that right where it is. Yep. And everybody who didn't know you now just knows that you're very famous and you can move along the the, the process. Right. I guess the, the the fear would be that people might just think that he's like the guy's private magic tutor or something like yes. that yes. that he hasn't seen in a while. Actually, no one else knows him. Just that guy, and he's just really just excited. that one yeah, dude. You happen to pick out this weirdo that loves you and knows you from the. All right, where where, where where would you guys go? <sighs> that that's exactly what I think. Especially with a, a trick, I'm thinking, okay, how does this person know him? If you're picking somebody at an audience randomly, yeah. But or at the same time, you got fandom. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. So so my goals are I don't want to take anything away from this particular person or from the 20% of the people who actually, you know, are know excited the online and know, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but I also want to acknowledge that this is not bullshit. This is not something yes. I paid to act excited or whatever. Right. Uh, and and what, what came out of my mouth, because as you guys know, so often in those moments, you're so – in the zone, you know, there, there's a different part of your brain that's taken over the responses. And so uh, what I ended up saying was, you know, the guy was like, oh, my God, I'll learn first magic trick eight, 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 eighth grade. I was like, and I was like, uh, I was like, uh, that was a very fancy way to make me feel old. And then, uh, <laughs> and, then, and, then and then we went on with the trick. Right. Sure. So so uh, I, I felt like I acknowledged that this is a no bullshit thing. Yeah. And, and whatever. Uh, it ended up being real good. But I noticed uh, it's weird to do a show for a bunch of incoming freshmen and to realize every one of them is one year younger than my daughter. Oh. And it changes 
language in a Wait, bunch younger of, or older? Young, or, or sorry, older. older. One older, year older. One year older, yeah. One year older than my daughter. Uh, but, but it changes language and power dynamics and all that stuff. Like, uh, you know, so much of, of the show was written to be kind of a, you know, fuck you magic, you know, and, and, and it's like, you can't do that if, if, if people are coming on stage and saying, I love your shit so much, I watched it. In and you're like, yeah. and guess what? Like, like, fuck yeah, you, fuck man. you, magic. And right. I, but I like magic. And, and, it, and it, it, you know, and even like, um, like the line where Mr. Happy Pants goes up, uh, uh, now reach, uh, the point is you got to feel and make sure it's really my hand inside the puppet. Mr. Happy Pants says, uh, now reach forward and touch the manly chest of Mr. Happy Pants. And then instantly I'm like, Ooh. Which is which is which is like a, a naughty just like like when when you put all those words together that the fact that the puppets called Mr. Happy Pants touched That's the correct. manly chest there is like a bit of a weird uh, uh, vibe right. that's and designed to be there. And so, so the 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 volunteer in this case uh, uh, kind of high fives the puppet, you know, and uh, uh, and so I find myself wanting to flip the power dynamic and say like oh I. I feel like i need to call hr now you know like making it their fault <laughs> sure uh, but 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 it's like there's significant uh, uh we talked a little bit about this there's significant chunks of the show that i i need to rethink or recontextualize it uh, to make sure they they play in a way where i don't get canceled so, in so that is as soon as you started talking the first thing that came to my mind is first of all what is your stage handle that you used to do magic with? Are you still allowed to do magic under your old stage handle? Because now you look like a dignified elderly statesman as opposed to my Schwood with the spikes and the fire and the flame and happy pants. Happy pants works when you got spikes growing out of your head right? and you're rage against the machine. You coming up here looking like you're about to do my taxes right? and telling me happy... Ha that's what the first thing I thought when you first started talking. I'm like, oh, my God. It's all different he now, is, right? He is my uncle telling me happy pants jokes and not the rage kid. Right. And so and so <laughs> and so there, there's no more punching up for me allowed. And, yeah. I, and I'm very aware yeah. of this. So so even as I introduced the Mr. Happy Pants routine, I said, uh, uh, and of course, everything you say on stage is a lie. Yeah. Uh, whatever. But but I, <laughs> I, I, I said, uh, all right, look, I got this routine. I only did it once. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah. What it looked like. You've got to understand. Different time. Yeah. Young Brian. Blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So I'm painting the, the, the picture around it. But but it's like, I, you know, I, I don't want to keep on selling that line every fucking time I do it. I mean, it's I a good it. line to sell. But I look, that's instantly what I thought in my mind. Once you started talking, I'm like, oh, my God. He's about to start talking about doing magic. You are not allowed to look like this and do the magic that you do the magic of. Right? Have you, have you seen who does magic? <laughs> no, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Because no, no, he's no, never no, been no, more no, allowed I'm to gonna, do. I'm gonna, oh my God! He's up! Gonna, he's up! Gonna, he's up! Uh -oh. he's up. Okay. Now, <laughs> Is now, it my look, turn to spoon? We've now, awoken look, the look, beast. <laughs> look, as an African American person, and we all know how African Americans react to magic, right? That's true. Black people in general, I won't speak for all of them because some black people get mad, but in general, black people are taken aback by magic. I know I was it the is, first time is. he... Uh, black people just uh, oh, golly, like you just it's the like best, you just the best, them the, the best racial stereotype. Yes, and it, the, the best racial real. stereotype. So again, in my mind, how I know you, yes, it is just shark fin, and we're doing wild shit, and we are rocking this thing. He has never been the regular dude magician who impresses me with the whatever, or the straight collar young dude on the street that does whatever. He's burned into my brain for that. So yeah, yeah he can look like this. But knowing this, right? and knowing your act, I'm like, again, he showed up to do my taxes today. You look like yeah. fine statesman. He right. can't come up here in happy pants and burn a hole through my eye and tell me the sun's burning. He can't do it. Not looking like that. How did he do it? That's the magic trick. How did he get it done? <laughs> How did he get it done? Uh, I'm back laying down. No, okay, okay, yeah. Right. 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 Tucker down. Freaking me out. Yeah. Freaking me All out. Right. All right. All right. Get, get, some, get, some get some rest. Get some rest. Back to my nap. Back to my nap, please. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, so much better. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, by the way, Claire Glag says only black people like magic. No, black people like magic the best. Yes. No, they're just better at liking magic. They're just the best at liking. I mean, it's, it's the one everyone can like magic. Thing I'll say is like black people are better at liking magic than anybody else. <laughs> yes, I believe it's true. It's the I'm sorry. I'm, it's I'm, science. I'm supporting the statement. It just is what it is. I mean, you can't fight the science. Uh, uh, CDC no, uh, approved. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Fauci says it. Hey, I've heard it. Actually, <laughs> when you look at the data. <laughs> 
it's actually you might it might seem odd it might seem odd but black people like magic better on average by the studies than white or asian people but 33 percent 33 percent more and and the what? way they like it is better what then what, other what people we've seen do. is a 97 percent efficacy rate for black people liking magic compared to other races hey, we gotta, did the world's first large scale study <laughs> 20 magicians <laughs> at two Applebee's. <laughs> half of them were sent to white tables. The other half were sent to black tables. But my favorite my favorite thing is the street When magic. this COVID shit dies down, this is what I want Fauci doing. It's just random studies yeah. where he's explaining the Let results. Tell, when this is all over, <laughs> I've got some like, facts for you. Like decibel if you, meters. If you, if you think it's a joke, just Google... Uh, street magic with a cigarette and a black man. When they make the cigarettes disappear and they burn them in their hand, they, black people just lose their no, minds. I They're mean, like, where are these cigarettes no, going? No, like, yeah. It's impressive. No, number one, uh, JC Calhoun points out, Aziz Ansari has a great routine on this. David Blaine doesn't have a career if black people are not that into magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just going to say it right now. He pioneered oh. the concept of recording street magic, and his secret fucking weapon was going into the hood yes. and doing magic for fucking black people that would react the likes of which we had never right. seen and on then, television. And then he just doubled down. He went to athletes and rappers. That's it. And, and like, like watching Drake be Drake's just floored. He's like drooling over something. He, like, how did and, you do it? He, like, he, 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 he was like, not at the accountant convention. <laughs> no. no, he was in the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> yes, locker room. Yes, yes. Uh, not not uh, 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 not a joke at all. His true genius was that he turned the camera the exact opposite way that the camera had ever been for any magic anything on television ever mm. before. Mm -hmm. And they happen. But to with be black, black people. <laughs> yeah. 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 Finish the statement. And <laughs> there we go. Now, now we've got it. We've got it. Uh, shit, man. Now I totally forgot what we were talking about. Green room oh, to green. Uh, green uh, uh, control oh, room to oh, green yes. room. Hello. Mission control, yes. You have five minutes. You have five minutes. Thank All you, right, five. Ready. ready. Um, so, uh, uh, at any rate, it was it was good to do the show. It it, it, it kind of reawoke the bug to to get back on the road. Uh, oh, I, I went to Epcot uh, on oh, Friday. You fucking asshole! They're doing food and wine festival. Yes, they bitch. are. Son I of guess a I guess bitch. a bit earlier this year. Mm. I got me some empanadas. Yes, you did. Empanadas. Uh, I, 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 uh, uh, um, also, looks left, looks right. That's a, see, he does it too. Fucking Epcot is a shit show right now. Really? Sure. Half of it is shut down for refurbishment. Sure. Uh, oh, because because they're doing the big rebrand. That's they're, right. And, yeah. and uh, not only that, but, uh, 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 you know, they got all the countries, and you could look across, and you could uh, be in England and shake a fist at Japan. You could yeah. be in China and shake a fist at sure. Germany or whatever. <laughs> Uh, Which I've been to Epcot with Brian many times. It's eighty percent him shaking his fist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is why my favorite show was 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 illusion. Uh, uh, wait, uh, Illuminations. Yes. Because it begins with. All of them firing missiles at each other, uh, but but that show's dead and gone. So now they got these giant, big black LED screens all over the place Why they that be block black? your view. Why they gotta uh, be black? And then visual the, requirements. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> continue. Carry on. <laughs> the visual spectrum just, just, mostly. Just, just, just checking. <laughs> That's continue. why they have to be black. I apologize. Go ahead. Carry on. <laughs> Uh, yes, there is an Ireland in Epcot, and I will admit that on Friday I had a uh, uh, a, a Guinness milkshake with Bailey's. Mm. That was a chef's kiss. Mm. It was amazing. Uh, but all the rides are shut shut down, and even even my beloved uh, Spaceship Earth, like. <laughs> So, you know, you go up and they're showing you, know, this this dude is inventing papyrus in normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, robot was not really working. The ro oh, robot no. was like... Jerking it. Yeah. He was like slow yeah. jerking. Yeah. Slow and jerking it. And he was like, and of course, we had our most amazing moment of all time. Whole family gathered around a television that's not turned on. Yeah. Oh, it's, Jesus. It's, that's one small step for man. <laughs> like, like... Like uh, it's it's in a rough spot. So they uh, don't so they don't give a shit right now. No, Everything, they're, but they're, they're bringing they're, they're going through their carny days right they're, now. They're bringing they're, back Captain EO though, right? Uh, Please, uh, 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 from the dead for Halloween Horror Nights, and he's at Universal now. <laughs> yeah. No, apparently it's going to be a big Guardians thing. Yes, there's, there's like a thing in Guardians three. It's that huge. It will... Oh, really? Uh, yeah, you know how big the test track is. Yep. Uh, like two to three times the size oh, of that. Oh wow! All painted on the outside, just sky blue right now. It almost kind of blends in with with, yeah. with the sky. You don't see it. It's it's going to be. Uh, 
I have high confidence. When they come back, they'll be back with a be- vengeance. But for right now, oh boy, <laughs> it's uh, I, yeah. I had a fine walk around a lake and saw the worst version of Spaceship Earth I've seen to date. Wow. So there we go. <laughs> was there? What were all the food and drink things open? Or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they were great. They were great. So it was, oh, so it you was still money there. to go in and. Buy food and drink. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. normally for food I, and wine, that's what you're doing Smurfs anyway. This experience. Yeah. Oh. 100% worth it. Oh, although I did, I did I did, do one thing. I went to England, and I called, I FaceTimed Andrew Heaton, who's in Scotland. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and, 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 God damn. I, I, I swear, Andrew Heaton lives in a 1950s sitcom or something, because he is, he, uh, uh, apparently... Uh, I hope I'm not talking out of school. Uh, wears full-on beautiful blue pajamas <laughs> and is in bed. Oh, I've, I've I've shared a hotel room with him. He's fucking like Don Draper yeah. past like eight Fantastic. o'clock. So he's got a warm glass of milk. Like <laughs> light comes on and he's like, uh, "Oh, hello, Brian." And I was like, "Were you asleep?" And he was like, "He's like, well, I'm not anymore. What can I do for you?" <laughs> and I'm like, oh, "I was just calling because I'm in London, bro. Look," and I'm pointing to the the Pig and Whistle Pub or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, look, uh, look at this uh, 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 telephone, bro. <laughs> 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 and he's like, uh, Brian, the the sun is out, uh, so I, I highly doubt that you are in London. I'm like, no way. Ask her. Here, let me go to the bartender. Ask her something that only someone from London would know. <laughs> and then uh, 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 it didn't last. It all fell apart. You know, you, know, you know what that felt like? White. Someone talking to me about Coast to Coast Key West to Key Largo and just God breaking down my whole goddamn dream ah, set. That's right. Ah, 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 I think we're good. Are we good? Are we ready to roll? It's time. Yep. All right. We'll call it. We're going back home to. Uh, 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 so we have uh, uh, we got a hell of a show. We got an intro. Yep. Owen's yep. on the show. Joe Mo's on the show, and yep. more than just his hand. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Get that hand in there. Low there we go. Hand. There it is. Oh, there it is. Don't be there shy. That looks there like he's go. jerking me off. Oh no! So. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Show that guy. Uh, Mission yeah. Control, can you take it from here? All right, thank you so much, Green Room. Hope, uh, hope you had a good green time. It was very green. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the pre-show for Great Night. Oh, Bryce Castillo. Uh, got a great, got a great show. Got a great game. Got a good. It's gonna be a. It's actually gonna be a great night. Actually, I'm gonna put these over here so I don't eat on camera. Hello, everybody. I uh, want to do. Uh, our birthday boner. How about that? So this is the the part of the show where we check in on the Discord and see who's got birthdays and who wants a little shout out here in the pre-show of the show. Uh, let's see here. Whiskey Wolf had their birthday on uh, Tuesday. Last Tuesday? On the 24th? Or this Tuesday, maybe. Maybe it's, maybe it's today. Maybe happy birthday, Whiskey Wolf. Uh, we've also got Wan Yam, whose birthday is on the 4th. Happy birthday, Wan Yam. We have uh, Adam L. Or Adam L. Adelal on August 30th. Happy birthday. We have got uh, uh, Exo. Uh, Exo's birthday is on the 4th as well. Okay, happy birthday. Uh, BS for Free's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, BS for Free. And Identity 4, ID4, a uh, uh, long timer uh, on the 27th. So thank you everybody for spending your birthdays with us here. On oh, Attack, if you want to get your birthday borner shout out, go to discord.greatnight.tv. Join the Discord. We got a birthday borner trainer there. Let's put your birthday whenever you're good. You're good. Hey. Uh, hello, everybody. So let me let me just write this down here really quick. Uh, how is everybody doing? How's everybody? Uh. Uh, how's everybody's Tuesday going? I had a busy day, slightly busy day. I slept in today. I think that was what contributed to being pretty busy. I, a, I slept in today. I don't normally sleep in very much, but I slept in today. And then uh, uh, today's game, we got a we got a great game. Oh, I'm so excited for this game. We are we're basically I, I we didn't get a chance to I didn't get a chance to tell the guys even really what we're doing, but they had to do some pre work, so they. They sh- they, I think if, if they paid attention, they probably have an I- at least some idea of what we're doing. Um, but if you uh, uh, if you if you were a fan of um, a podcast I did a few years ago, uh, you might get something uh, something pretty similar. Ah, ooh, ah, there we go. We got some more folks coming in to sit in on the show. That's gonna be super fun. Uh, Zoe says, "Are you growing your hair long, Bryce?" I think I am. 
I think I am. I think it's. I, I think it's. I think. I think we're at that point right now. It's. It's. Um. I. I'm trying. To, the last time I had it really, really long was either right before I moved here or. Um, how long? You, yeah. How long? How long are you going in? How? I don't know. I mean, how far as long as I can go, I think. Yeah, because I think I'm growing mine out too. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. I think so. I think does your Does see. your hair grow fast? Do you think your yes. hair grows fast? Yeah. Absolutely. This is a Corey, by the way. We got cool hair. <laughs> There we go. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Um, how was? How long have you had your hair ever be? How long uh, is the longest? Uh, basically down to my shoulders. The shoulders. Okay. Yeah, so relatively long, but not too crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit longer than yours. And my hair, know, it. Yeah. My hair is curly. Yeah. It's, so, it's not as curly as it was in college because I think this was about as how long as it was in college, but it. Yeah. It seemed shorter because it curls up. It curled up more, but I still yeah. kind of have these sausage curls. Yeah. So mine was about that length right there. If you straightened yours out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's always the fun thing is coming out of the getting out of the pool. And, yeah, right. And everything just <laughs> and it gets a little wavy, but no curls. Yeah, I'm 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 having to get used to controlling my hair because I go to the gym a lot. Yeah, and so you know I started to wear a headband because mm -hmm. I would I would get sweat. Uh, but I've got like I'm I I don't like wearing hats in the gym. It feels a little weird. So, but I've got that little um that little K-pop boy band head headband thing that I wear. <laughs> mm -hmm. and so that helps. And then like clips, I'm trying to find the right clip because I think the clips that I have are too small. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. And then at some point it'll be long enough where I can just scrunchie it. Yeah. Uh, or like, yeah, yeah, right? And yeah. Uh, that would be fine, right? I'm mostly a backwards hat kind of guy. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I never feel, I feel like I don't have confidence wearing a backwards hat because my hairline is a little high. Yeah. And so I just have a little, I, ugh, I just got a little, little, a little fine. dingle here. It's, it's little, fine. It's fine. Because I don't, I don't, I also don't want to wear it super high up. And then, because I tend, my hair tends to part in the center. So then you just get a little bald spot there. And I don't want that either. Um, but yeah, that's, that's partly why I've been wearing the hats uh, this year is because I'm growing it out and it's, it's just easier. Yeah. And I have, I have a lot of hats that I've never worn. Does yours go through awkward phases? Like mine gets like, hair. it looks awesome. And then, then it just looks terrible for a while before yes. it starts looking awesome again. Uh, yes. Oh, for sure. For sure. Okay. Because with my, with mine, it'll, I'll get like a, uh, like Einstein hair. It'll uh -huh. kind of come to a point cause it curls. <laughs> yeah. So it'll just yeah. out. Like I got two little cowlicks mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of the awkward stage is yeah. getting out of that or like kind of the, the mushroom head where it's not long enough where it reaches the shoulders, yeah. but almost looks like a bob, but because it's curled, it's very rounded. And I end up with with kind of a mushroom yeah. sort of look. Huh. <laughs> Do you have an awkward spot? Um, yes, many phases through my hair growth. Uh, it gets real awkward. So real short, I look like a dirty Q-tip because oh, it I just sticks straight out. Uh, oh, that right? stinks. Yeah, so I can't really have it shaved close. Yeah. And so, but once it gets past that, it looks pretty good for a while, and then it kind of gets real fluffy, you know, like oh. too fluffy. And then once it gets long, it starts laying down a good, laying down uh, really well. Mm -hmm. And then now, of course, I've got the bit, the flips and stuff when I start. That's right. You're starting. You're starting to get that that, that, that like curl around teenage, uh -huh. you know, yeah. teen hunk oh, yeah. sort of look. Yeah, I know two one zero. And then maybe I can do the. Oh. Sweep over. Uh, El Condor says I have long curly hair, but have trouble controlling it. Yeah, that's not that's the thing I'm not looking forward to is figuring out how to control. Uh, Annalisa on the side. Do you want to jump in on this, Annalisa? Because she's yeah. she's super into this. This is just super exciting to me because I'm actually finally getting my hair cut tomorrow for the first <gasps> time in like two years. Oh wow! And nice. it's gonna get dyed purple. And, Ooh! Oh, I'm so. Excited. Oh, so you picked on you picked a color. Kind of. Oh, like, you still got to pick like a shade. Purple, but I'm going to let the stylist be like, well, this color looks good on you, and I have this in stock. And so mm, I'm going to nice. let her have fun with it. Just kind of have free reign because, I mean, eventually it's going to fade out because I am not good at taking care of my hair. <laughs> and I'm just going to paint it some other color anyway. Yeah. But I'm very excited. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited for you. I, like, because I don't get my hair done anymore, and I don't, like, maintain it myself. Like, I don't cut it because uh, I used to cut it myself. Um... I don't get the feeling of like, oh, I've got a cool new haircut, <laughs> like because it's just growing very slowly, and yeah. and instead of like showing up and like people <laughs> remarking that my hair looks different, it's like, it's like how it long are you gonna grow your hair out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't even know what like my thing is with that because I haven't had my mm. hair cut professionally since like a bit before <laughs> the <laughs> pandemic. Uh -uh. <laughs> Um, and even before that, like I hadn't really gotten it cut like for real other than the trimming since mm -hmm. the last uh, live night attack show. Whoa. Wait, what would that have been? Uh, 19. Right? 
I think so. What, what in That was the last California? time. I, no, I mean like here. Oh. When here. Oh, South the very by. Oh, South by. Yeah. That I think was yeah, that would, would have been 2019, I guess. Yeah, I, and I, I had my hair, it was very short and it was bleached and I had it dyed like a couple of different colors because I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> but I had fun with it. Mm. And then I was just like, haven't done anything else with it because I'm like, I can't decide. And I just started like coloring it myself. And it was all these, like, I, I just bought like a rainbow of little pots of Manic Panic. Mm. I just did it all myself. Oh, cool. So I, I'm a very like <laughs> DIY hair person. Yeah. You know. Yeah, oh, my, my husband and I have taken turns doing Oh, about the pandemic, maintaining it, yeah. and stuff. But now I'm like, can I, can I please go to a salon? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a super safe salon. Everybody has to wear masks and all that stuff. So I'm, mm. I'm good with that. Yeah. But I'm uh, very excited. <laughs> I'm trying to think. The last time I would have got a haircut, I think it would have been 2017, maybe, maybe, maybe 2017. I feel um, like, well, you said you cut it yourself, though. Uh, well, I maintain it myself, maintain but it. I, I went to a place to go get it styled okay. and cut. Because okay. um, that was when I got the the under, the under full, like, undercut mm. oh, look. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and that, that, yeah, that was a long, I mean, that was before we were in this property, oh, yeah. I believe. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, my, my last big cut was back when I was living up in Plano, so that uh. was a bit ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just, I like messing with myself and I've like trimmed off the, uh, slowly trimmed off the bleached ends and stuff. Sorry, I should be. Oh, you're good, you're good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's. So like all of the, all of the bleach that was there from the, the last time I did it, it's all gone. It's all gone. I'm like, wow. all right, fine. I guess it's time to finally go get it done. Yeah. Also, I haven't had hair this long since I was like 35. <laughs> so it's been a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, it's, um weird long hair because I, I remember as a kid i always had a crew cut as a kid i was kind of a nerdy looking kid so i always had i always just had a crew cut because you know my the uh, you know my dad was in the in the navy and it, in, in virginia beach is very you know it, it's sure. that whole, whole area is very like navy so i remember going and getting it was a little i think there was like a little local place near us it wasn't on the on base but it was like military themed and it was called was it called hairport I think it might have been here. Adorable, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I always had it. I always had it cut, you know, as a little little crew cut. And then um, my my brother always got it cut real short. Like I don't I don't. Looking back on it now, I don't know if he actually actually got it. Had it buzzed every time? I don't think so. I think it was just it was short enough where it just stood up, um, but not a full buzz. Um, I remember always being very envious of that. Oh. Of being like, oh, I want, I want that. But we have different head shapes. We have it's a whole, it's a whole thing. But um, I, I don't know. For for whatever reason, as a kid, I was like, I want, I want that. I was very, <laughs> I, I had, I had some jealousy stuff with my brother. Oh, I, I well, my my brother had the coolest hair I've ever seen. So I'm was always like, can I cut my hair like that? Because he he had an undercut uh. when he was in like college and stuff. And so I I did my own undercut when i was in like eighth grade okay and if anybody knows how old i am then you can do the math and find out how long ago that was <laughs> um <laughs> so i did it with scissors <laughs> i was gonna say if, if you were in eighth grade it probably would have been very difficult to get you know a, a clippers with a, it with a guard a thing back then right right um but i did it anyway <laughs> how, how on a one to ten your own grading scale however however you would like to judge it how well do you think you did uh, on that, well, on that eighth grade cut. According to the stylist that my mom took me to to fix it, she said I did great. Oh, so I mean, you were. She was much more irritated it, with me when I dyed my hair black from box dye. Oh, um, wait, is that not good? <laughs> no, oh. not if you not if you have light hair, because uh. then it turns like this weird uh, grackle color, and then if you try to lighten it, it just turns this like crazy copper color. Huh. Um, that's <laughs> that's strange. Yeah, hair, I, I feel like hair color is is almost like mysticism <laughs> it feels you know i you know we i do you know v video stuff and i deal with like digital colors and stuff and that is all pretty much the same thing we all uh -huh. a pixel is a pixel is a pixel um except for those weird tvs where they have a yellow pixel and that was weird no one liked that yeah they were not going and um are they on their way yeah hey there they are um 
But uh, but with hair, yeah, with hair it's so different because it's like, what was the original color? What treatments have been done? Hello. Oh yeah. Hi. Hi. Is, what? Is All right, we're talking. We're about talking about hair. hair. Color. I too sometimes pray to Bryce. No. <laughs> Sometimes I'm, I'm just like, Cor Corey <laughs> first did <laughs> this. Dear, dear Bryce, uh, I've not, I know I've not always been the best host. Uh, oh, come on. But please let this be a very good show and let all of the cues work and the sound levels can, happen. Can, can we have Bryce's benedictions be a bit? <laughs> Bryce's benedictions? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Bryce, Bryce gives salvation. We need a little kneeling thing. All right, here. We need pews. You're right. Can we I, need. I, we I, just I, need a whole funny, pews. Can you tell you a funny story about a funeral I went to? Oh Jesus! <laughs> so I'm at. I, I went to a funeral, and uh, I, uh, I'm gonna let you guys know. It's been a long time since I've been to a church. Uh, I I kicked down what I thought was a footrest. <laughs> oh, you can't be doing that. And I. And oh, I said, you can't be doing that. Uh, uh, oh, look, they have a footrest. And Bonk. somebody said, are you going to be kneeling? And I was like, oh, that's what that's for. <laughs> I mean, I it was know. that long. I, well, uh, as here. OK, here's a question for you. Yeah. The assuming you went to church as a child. Yes. When, you know, for me, that was the majority of my church time was as, as, a, as a kid. As a child. Yeah. Did, did they have the kneel, kneeling rest? Presumably. But when I was at church, I was more thinking about throwing things at my friends because mm. I was a kid and that's what I like to do for the vast majority of the time was throw things at my friends so oh then yeah if, if it was if it's just a Catholic thing then I definitely never I, saw it before yeah, or Episcopal I, I only went I, to a Catholic Methodist. light yeah uh, but you know sure. you know I came up Catholic and I don't think that the church that we went to had kneeling had the kneeling thing? I don't think it did oh dude I mean, no be... dude, a, a Catholic church is like this close to Pilates. I mean, it's <laughs> it's a fucking workout. It's great. It, it, I, you know, I, I thought it was just me being a kid, being like, this is so fucking long. And then as an adult, everyone else had the exact, no, that's yeah, just the, the, that's the endurance religion. You got the endurance uh, one. The endurance religion. <laughs> uh, uh, that being said, footrests. Yeah. Like, more people should have them. Yeah. That, you know, Massage they get attendance chairs. <laughs> Just the the the, the wait we're the, getting the shiatsu massage like you're sitting there praying and it's just doing this. Brian is now just giving me an actual massage. No 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 no! <laughs> this is not for public consumption. <laughs> this for me. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, it goes straight all to right, the. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Let's go. All right. We got some new sound cues here, so I'm gonna need an extra minute here just to make sure all my mm -hmm. stuff is here. Mm -hmm. Great, that's up. Will I be able to hear them? Oh, look, I can hear me. Yeah, you'll be able to hear them. Uh, you should be able to hear them. Yes. Did you hear that? Kind of. I don't want it to be too loud. Uh, that, that one you don't need to hear. So, the, And the okay. other one is louder, so you'll be good. I'll just have you point to me. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll count you in. I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll do that. Uh, okay, sorry. We, 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 so, uh, uh, behind the scenes... Uh, uh, so behind the scenes, we got some new sound cues that we built, and I, and then at the very last minute, decided I'm going to change the whole the, <laughs> the show thing of my the whole format of my soundboard. So uh, uh, hopefully they are all hopefully they're all here. Are they all here? Yes, so, bitch. Awesome. <laughs> right. It'll either go right or horribly wrong. <laughs> Get on a microphone if you're gonna. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. All right. All right, everybody. I believe we are ready to start having a great night. Uh, bu 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 uh, Justin, good? Yep. Brian, good? The best. Uh, Annalisa, good? I'm good. Brett, good? Yeah, yeah. Jelma, you good? Great. Great, great, great. Is, oh, is, is our guest here too? Yeah. Owen, oh, you good? Oh. Okay, cool. I saw, I saw him say that, so that's good. All righty, everybody. Thank you so much for enjoying the pre-show in the green room. Let's start the show.